Hello again from Eric's Mixed Reality Studio. I recalibrated my lab slightly, moved the virtual and real cameras to point down for this particular experience. That's why I'm crouching. Um, I'm going to stick my hand up here. I got my other camera up here pointed down because I'm about to do an experience that I've been having students do. And while I do it, I'm going to talk about the idea of immersion. And I've been working in the research area of immersive learning. And this experience kind of really exemplifies the idea of immersion and what it means as a learning tool and a learning process. All right, so let's go through it together. And I'll talk about it as I go through. OK, you can see what I'm looking at on the bottom right, and then you can see the real world on the bottom left. Let's take a look together. All right. All right. All right. I have to, you know, so I don't get tripped up here. <laughs> so the virtual world, there's a wall here. OK, let's come over here a little bit. All right. I'm about to do something called Rich's Plank Experience, which is like a very uh, well-known experience for those uh, with VR. It's one of the first things people do when they do get VR, and it exemplifies the idea of immersion. I'm about to take an elevator up to, I think, 20, I'm looking up, maybe you can see what I'm looking at. 25th story and you could see it there's a piece of wood sticking way out there in the top of this elevator and I'm going to try and step over it so as humans we have this natural fear of heights and I'm in a virtual world where I'm not really going to be high up but I'm so immersed in it that I'm going to be physiologically not able to overcome the reality that I perceive to be in so let's go right up in the elevator first I'm going to spin around here so I don't trip over my cables. Let's go inside the elevator here. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Where do we want to go up? We want to go up to the plank. Here I go. Going up, up, up. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> and I'm very much aware that I'm in my lab <laughs> and I'm standing on firm ground, but I'm physically not able to overcome that and really just step out onto this onto this ledge. I've had a little bit of practice when I first did it. I just I had to like kind of step out little by little <laughs> here I go I'm actually and I know on an either side of this plank it's just more ground but physiologically it's hard for me just to even make a step left or right because I, I don't I have kind of a fear of heights so we know in learning experiences and from research and using this to help people learn that the more agency you have, the more immersed you are in these type of environments, the more you remember things, the more you experience things, the more empathy you build, because it's representative of a real experience. And that's what we mean by immersion. You're being immersed in the experience and your actions, your movements, your thoughts, even moving your head and your eye movements have consequences, much like closer to real experiences. Let's see if I can move out here. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. See that whenever that happens, I'm falling. Oh, and I still feel it in my stomach whenever I fall. Every time I've done this probably a dozen times and I still just even though I'm not physically moving anywhere. I get the jolt. And I've seen people do this experience, fall over, 
I've seen people start crying. I've seen so many other things that happen to people because of the level of immersion that's in this game. And that's what we're trying to recreate a lot of times with these learning experiences. And some people call this an empathy machine, putting yourself in other people's shoes. We're using this to explore issues of embodiment of race and gender, or you can use it to um, put people in situations where it would be too dangerous to do so or too expensive to do so in other ways. So we're seeing a lot of movement and traction on this in the um, training, technical training and surgical training and other things as well. Oh, man. Again, I'm going to reset up my cameras. I've had enough walking out on the plank for some time now. We'll see you next time, guys.